if I do that's grayed out huh interesting this is not off to a promising start then maybe there we go our our friend here was trying to cheat somehow get a 1200 point army in a 600 point game although that will change in the next patch when they include a thousand point fleet so that's gonna be exciting a little bit chaotic maybe but exciting nonetheless <clears throat> let's get this going see if we can have a bit of fun I'll probably just do the one match with the Eldari or Eshiriani rather and then we'll mix up a little bit do maybe two or three matches and I'll do some solo matches on my own basically Space Marines and Protector Tau. I recognize the number name. If I remember correctly, you had a Custodian. Custodian, a couple of uh, Wardens, and that was pretty much it. Nothing exciting to note. This will be interesting. I'm probably going to be trying to bait, which I guess the Phoenix is pretty good for. It has the durability to take the hits and a little bit of burst damage, although. Bombers are going to be tricky to utilize for hit and run potential, which is why I kind of wish I had the torpedo build. Let's see. I'm just wondering if I want to go straight for the middle here with the frigates or grab this left point, which is probably what I'm going to do. And I just basically got extended range on my Phoenix, so at least it can contribute at a distance since it's going to be most noticeable. I think that's the plan. My Phoenix is going to draw them out, try and get their attention so it opens up more potential for everything else. Let's get this started. Oh, I hate that happens. I want to try and give a move order and of course it just randomly decides to deploy me away from where I'm actually trying to move to. I wish you could kind of set move orders during the deployment phase. It'd be convenient. Not a huge issue otherwise, but be nice and convenient because it at least would deny hmm, deny the fact that my, my Phoenix just teleports over to the other side deployment zone when I don't want it. Now we have Protector Tau and Space Marines. I'm more concerned about this potential Space Marine over here. We'll see if the fighters survive main reason I'm launching the fires behind them is at least that way they're more likely to survive. We understand. Huh, you have Agron Corsairs, interesting. But then again, you kind of need frigates. Oh, fleet's probably not even leveled up just yet. I didn't pay attention to how leveled up the Corsair fleet was. But I'm interested on how this goes. Which one is our Tau, friend? Four ships here. Maybe this is the town with the Custodian three Warrens? Hard to say. You would think the Warrens would be silent running at this point. This has to be Space Marines. Seized a strategic area. No worries. The enemy has seized a strategic area. I just failed to you consider that the fleet wasn't area. leveled up quite yet. But we have the point here, I'll push over to the right. I'll just try not to be too distracting if you're listening to the stream there. Alright, standard strike cruiser fleet. All three with torpedoes, if I had to guess. Ooh, and you're the flagship. I walk the mariner's path. That was worthwhile to grab. Oh, and they're coming super hot. Relocating. All right, hang back there and just try and chip them down. I'll have to let my frigates try and poke the point on the right. Which one do we go after area. first? Probably the flagship. Just am a little bit worried about bombers, since I don't really want to lose them just yet. Ooh, already torpedoes have kind of been damaged. This is the opportunity I want bombers. If he's going to keep pushing towards me, that's pretty good. 
It makes the bombers a lot easier to do the damage they need to, but I kind of shot myself in the foot a little bit, didn't I? With the stasis bomb. So maybe that was not the most planned out. And that was a weird salvo of pulsars. One salvo on each of the strike cruisers. So, I should accommodate our Corsair friend here. Especially with engines gone. That's gonna actually be... That conveniently made it hard for me to actually focus fire. Surprisingly. Bombers. They're still moving. They're still alive. Let's try and grab this point here. There you are. I would love to try and snipe you, but I don't think this is a convenient time for me. I got bombers coming up there. Ooh, this is gonna stink. If only I had stasis bomb now, this would be pretty good. Alright, we're about to get out of here. Okay, get your 270 degree arc and just shoot this thing. Actually, I don't need to turn off the... Just You're just gonna circle around this thing no matter what. So eventually, they'll kill it so long as they keep their full hollow field charge. Hopefully. And what are my bomber stats so far? And I lost both squadrons of bombers, so I only got one more to utilize here. So I should hang on to that until we have one more left. And I also lost my lock-on for runic focus, which makes it tricky to actually do the damage I want. Kill this thing off. Yes, perfect. That thing should probably just burn to death if I'm lucky enough. You are going to take some time to kill, sadly, due to the dang 83 armor, so this may not be very effective. You're turning. Oh, fighters are just going to destroy my last squadron of bombers. This probably was not a good idea. Part of the reason why I don't like the the carriers the best if I don't have like a massive number of them. Because it makes it tricky to get multiple uses out of them. I don't even know if I did the damage needed either, if I were to be so honest. There we go. Two strike cruisers gone there. I don't know why you're so far away. You're supposed to detect this dang thing so you can shoot it for crying out loud. You're not being very accommodating right now. And what do we have damage? Just one launch bay, which is completely useless at this point. Finish it off. A couple more pulsars should do it there. I sadly permanently lost the deck, though, so I'm not going to get my 270 degree arc anymore. Meanwhile, this is still going to take an attorney. It's probably not even worth it, if I were to be honest. Yeah, let's get the rally going. If anything, try and grab the points from behind there. It's just a custodian that's left. Yep, just use the gas cloud to conceal yourself. You still have shroud. We just got to be mindful of these fighters. Just gotta deal with these fighters quickly somehow, or at least bait them away, ideally. Which is what I think I want to do. And these are only a single squad wave of. Oh, never mind. This one of them is Castell as well. So hopefully, I could deal with these seeker missiles relatively well. Bombers, not so much, but at least those will fly into stasis bomb and give me some more breathing room. Point defense, I still got plenty of point defense, just gonna take an eternity and these bombers are getting exceptionally close. Why on earth did you stop firing there? I told- I gave you a specific order to just keep shooting this thing and I know it's not running. 
Oh, well, time to give up on that little game, I guess, of trying to shoot down the dang frigate. Hey there. Hey there, Natasha. I don't know which... I don't know which... Pl uh, I don't know which player you were, to be honest. I know I played a handful of matches before I did my stream, and oh god, bombers are finally starting to hit. But are the fighters gone? No, the fighters are not gone yet, so this is going to be painful. If anything, yeah, you're the best one at... Yeah, my pulsars are the best one for destroying this dang frigate. Really, I should have had my phoenix over there this entire time, but I can't really do two things at once with this thing, can I now? And my fighters are dying horribly fast. If I can effectively conceal myself far enough away from these fighters, that would help a ton. But right now, they're giving the fission. So I have to relegate myself to grabbing these points. And the stasis bombs... Is this going to help me? The stasis bombs actually help me. This is the window I want to shoot down these bombers in all seriousness. Now that there's no fighters around, I just got to pay very close attention. Yeah, like I was going to say, to when they're out of the stasis bomb. If I can kill these, that's really useful. Since I think the Custodian's out of missiles right now. And I'm going to steal these points from behind them. You have seized a strategic Actually, I really want to kill those Wardens. We I don't like these Wardens, and they're far more easier to kill. I should be okay. I can kite these a lot. Again, where do I? Where can I hide? This is the perfect opportunity to hide, if I can manage it somehow. I just gotta avoid getting bombed for 20 seconds first. Actually, can I contribute and shoot down this Warden at the same time? Are you in range with the Pulsars? Not quite. Concealment's more important. I thought maybe I could snipe that thing down. Not gonna happen. Conveniently timed Wraith Bone Shift to dodge the railguns at least. That's only Castellan. You I don't care for. Ooh, I completely forgot about my fighters too. This will be useful. Yep, too late. That should have already deactivated the bombers. And sadly, my pulsar shots did not shoot at what I wanted. A little inconvenient. This warning should be dead before the point caps, I'm really hoping. The custodian? We don't care about the custodian. Grab the points. Deny the points, deny the frigates. That's how we're going to win this year. There. We can kite the custodian all day. I just gotta make sure I'm hitting the right target. Can I kill? I want, this is like the most troublesome frigate, mainly because of the damn armor. Give me the pulsar shots. One pulsar shot and then I'll let you finish it off. There. This should make our life a lot easier here. And that warns about to die too, which I have an answer for. And scores about even, so without any frigates and only one custodian, we can just grab all the points from under the nose. Although this custodian's in a very awkward position right now. I don't like it one bit, but no fission means the gas clouds are going to be amazing for you. Get those Corsairs in the gas cloud. Since that one Castellan should be the only thing that can actually give vision. And it's in a bad spot to do that. Oh, are you out of range of the fighters? Damn it. The fighters just barely had vision of you. Yeah, that's inconvenient. Almost neutralized that point, actually. Let me solid run with these frigates, that'll be useful. Get back in the point, kill off the fighters. No! I want to kill you, cursed things. Ooh, gain armor damage on the custodian, though. I like that. And I don't have enough Wraith Bone Shift. Just two fighters with, like, no hit points left. Those That Castellan, custodian's gonna get his charge back. And that's annoying. But I can actually 
If I could force this custodian to turn around because I'm threatening to grab the point, that'd be good. I just gotta watch. And I gotta remember this gas cloud. This is really important for me. I have another charge of disruption bomb as well, so... Then that should not be an issue. Alright, I'm gonna wait till the shields go down, then I'm gonna unload my pulsars on it. And it ideally kills engines, so it can't do anything else. Alright, we're free to shoot at this thing some. It's gonna take a little bit of work if we're actually gonna try and kill this thing off. And you can't lock on just yet to contribute. Oh, your generator's completely down. Oh, never mind. That was the consequence of the disruption bomb, is in it? Oh, why, why not torpedoes? Because I want to play with the damn Phoenix. I love the look of the Phoenix. It's just not the most convenient. Oh boy. That's a little unfortunate. At least it's gonna fly off to safety. So I got that going for me. And this Castellan should be really damn vulnerable to me shooting it down. I just gotta make it the priority. Because with three points we should win this, we just gotta make sure we speed this along. But I can play Torpedoes next time. Oh well, maybe I'll just grab this one point then. Since so long as we can hold three points and don't lose, like, my capital ship, we're in good shape. It's still going, though. It's gonna get to safety. I need a lightning strike on it, though, if I'm gonna get it back. And you are gonna be very expensive loss if you get killed eventually. Since these, like, was it, Shadow Hunters are basically 70 points each, and I don't want to lose them ideally. So in another 30 seconds, you can salt run. We understand. Oh, don't worry. Torpedoes are more cancerous if you're going to talk about that. Trust me, bombers are nothing. You just need to be able to isolate them. Which conveniently is really easy to do if you have your own fighter squadron since... If the fighters are trying to delay or distract for the seeker missiles and that, then basically... You just have your own fighters fly to... Basically, to take a detour. And then bombers and torpedoes are free and vulnerable to torpedoes getting shot at. Pulsars and torpedoes are the real cancerous thing. They can murder things immediately. Especially when you get ridiculous range. It might be a different story when you can actually hear damn torpedoes being launched for crying out loud. Right now they are, they are really damn silent. So you can't take evasive maneuvers if you don't see them coming. Yeah, pulsars, pulsars maybe not, but torpedoes sure as hell can. But they were all the rage in Armada 1 there as well. The Pulsars. And bombers were a bit of an annoyance mainly because of the unlimited charges. And this custodian is almost dead too. I guess I'm not going to get uh, my my Phoenix there reactivated. That's a shame. That's a shame. Since I think I still have my disruption bomb available to kind of finish off the custodian, don't I? I do. Just doesn't look like I'm going to get it here. No, don't lose the... Don't lose the Aurora. Just get back into a gas cloud if you're able to. Although the fighters are going to make that really difficult since they're giving vision at this point. We are the shadow. For the ancestors. But I could switch on over to torpedoes there. Yeah, you can lightning, you can board my ship. You did give it back to one crew member, because right now, I think if that Phoenix dies, we immediately lose. 
My opponent just... Our opponent just doesn't realize it right now. Since that would be 400 points worth of ship right there. For the craft world. So right now we're still in the game just because of that lack of foresight. And there we go, thank you. Now I just gotta hide this thing quickly. Oh, I'm... My frigate's about to die, that's inconvenient. You are close to victory, Thankfully, remember the assault Rhine there in time. Where the winds die. Yeah, this is at risk of dying. I need to get hit in. And engines are damaged. How many inch? Function. Wait, didn't it just say I had permit damage on one of my engines? Underway. How the hell did I repair that? That I could not tell you. Otherwise, let's try and grab this the point. Is this is almost over. Ah. I forgot to keep moving with the dang Shadow Hunter. Hello, Dyer. Welcome to the stream. We'll see if we can make this a more interesting match for next one. I'll take the torpedoes next time. I don't think I'm going to touch the Corsairs, though, since I've yet to level them up. And I plan on doing a multiplayer video on them at some point anyway, so... If I'm going to do torpedoes, it'll be the Ezriani. I just don't quite have the help. Where the winds guide. As Alright, this is almost neutralized. Yeah, Nerds, 50 I points is all we need. This really did drag on out, but... This would be what the torpedoes and dedicated pulsars would kind of be for a little bit. Although... I could theoretically kill that custodian. I still have one more disruption bomb. We just need a good strafing run on it. So that is game, I guess. May have been a frustrating experience for a custodian due to the cutting, but that is kind of the liability of having the frigates get sniped off. Just a shame. My two dang shadow hunters were supposed to kill the Nova, and it did not happen. Space Marines were buffed to have. 83 armor instead of 67. So, torpedoes it is there. We got the dragon ship with torpedoes and two wraith ships with torpedoes. Huh, interesting. We'll try this again. Immediately boot you out of the party, I guess. Only problem is I don't have the most convenient upgrades to synergize with the torpedoes. Which is part of the reason why I went with the Starcan Pulsar kind of route. Hmm. Polarized Field and Void Predator are only two I can think of. That at least would work for me. And then otherwise I'm limiting my choices, aren't I? For some reason it does... Okay, there you are. That was weird. We'll try one more there. Then I might do some solo... Or if anyone else wants to join me for 2v2s, I'd be happy to accommodate ya. We'll do one more here with the Azure Yanni, or at least with you there. I, th I don't know what to call you there. I only know you by Fred, I think, on YouTube. Yep, well, all Eldar torpedoes actually ignore armor. Every single one of them, even the Jukari. I think back in the pre-order beta, most of them ignored armor. And, but on release, they are now tree as having 50 armor. So they're not as ridiculous, still very damn bursty though. Especially if you can hit with a good majority of your torpedoes. But it's the Eldar that can that at least have a chance to just completely erase a ship if you can hit them with multiple torpedo salvos. It is not pretty. Once people learn how to get aggressive with the torpedoes, they're... they're Everyone's going to be complaining about them, for God's sake. Which is why I kind of wish eventually they make it a little more noticeable to hear the torpedoes. At least then it's more convenient for newer players. Since I imagine the veterans and more experienced are going to be able to tell just by movement how close you're getting as opposed to actually hearing the torpedoes to take the evasive maneuvers required. For newer players it's just frustration, since you can't hear them or see them coming. 
you know, sorry to have to... Sorry you won't be able to join. I'm hoping to do more regular type of streaming, at least on the weekends. Just, let's see. Just waiting for you to get all set up there. Oh, you got Mike Warp Jump. Which actually would be pretty useful for my dragon ship, if, if I were to be honest. Normally it seems really odd having a Mike Warp Jump on just a single ship, unless it's like your main battleship or capital ship. I've actually found some really good use when I used them for Chaos. And in all honesty, it may have been really impactful if, for when I used it on... If I had used it on my Retribution for the Imperial Navy. Since I think I used the beacon there, it wasn't all that helpful. I think, anyway. Just waiting for you to ready up there. There we go. I just randomly clicked and apparently we were ready. So let's do some proper Eldar. At least Armada 1 Eldar. I don't know what all the fuss is with the dang Star Cannons. Mind you, I haven't played that many matches against Eldar, it seems like. And when I have, it seems to have gone well. I lost more to the objectives than so much actually getting my fleet destroyed by Star Cannons and Torpedoes. In most cases, anyway. Although those, I'm talking more 1v1, I haven't really been paying that much attention for 2v2. Since more often than not, it feels like either my teammates are getting too aggressive or there's a lack of synergy between our two fleets that more often than not cost us the match. And not really just getting demolished by the Eldar torpedoes. Oh god, the, the orc bug is in effect. Have a look at my pulsar, everyone. It's a big giant tractor cannon. Well, it's actually a big giant nova cannon. It's a bit hilarious and it tells me what the orc player is fielding. Apparently our adversaries use a big giant nova cannon that miraculously is deployed on my, my flagship. Don't ask me how that works. Yeah, this is a little bit dis depressing, isn't it? I could tell where their flagships deploy because of this weird glitch. Not that it really helps that much. Orcs get a lot of can potentially get a lot of ships. But we know where the flagship is and it's a Nova Cannon, basically. It should be a Nova Cannon. It's possible it could be a tractor cannon or the sap was it shock attack cannon. But I'm pretty certain it's a Nova. I think we're ready here. Reload on the dragon ship for, if anything, I like to reload just because of the faster rate bone shift and not so much the reload or faster rate of fire. It's been really convenient for when I play Tyranids in all honesty. Getting that extra fa or faster cooldown in the rush just basically means I can get to the middle of the map or get in position a lot faster. Three protectors. So we're going to have a lot of fighters to deal with. And right now my dragon ship's the only thing that's visible right now. Although it's going to change if these protectors... If it was a custodian I would be willing to take out the protectors. Right now we need to separate them or those fighters are just going to murder the torpedoes really quickly. Thankfully none of them are defending the fleet just yet. I would like to try but need a window to guarantee the fighters aren't just going to shoot them down. And actually I should be able to just grab the point under, under the fighter's nose. I just got to make sure... I keep an eye out for bombers and seeker missiles. I walk the mariner's path. The winds rise. Okay, Nova cans, Nova cans. Okay, I'm only gonna take one hit. Ow, that was very painful for something that at least his text says does a hundred points of damage for crying out loud. We understand. Cause that goes that was four hundred points of damage for crying out loud. On the very edge of a damn Novacan, no less. You have seen and I kind of need to turn off that fire too, I didn't realize that Novacan... 
Well, it's probably because I lost half my health. That's where the critical hit came from. How may I serve? Where the winds guide. Ooh, I like to where snipe this. I, I would love to snipe that target. I don't know if that's a frigate or not. Oh, wrong target. Wrong fleet. Let's see what we have here. Oh, and if it just uses Pulsar, that'd be pretty good too. Or Scanner, rather. Oh, it's just a brute, so nothing too exciting. Not even worth using my torpedoes on just yet. Just gotta wait the 20 seconds. Let them grab the points there. We just gotta force them to spread out. Ooh, that battleship would be amazing target to strafe, though. Just gotta get a little more isolated. There you go. Nice clean. Yep, just careful of fighters to spot you there. So I'll tr they're turned away from me, so I'll get the st first strafe in. And freak him out. Relocating. You have seized a strategic area. Just keep your fleet alive. Missed the railgun shot, that's convenient. Actually, this is a perfect opportunity to hit the one one ship here. Dang it. Stupid auto engage. I don't like the auto engage having like no right. It's just automatically stopping my ships there when I don't wish it to. Yeah, that's right. You turn around. Come after me. Just hopefully they don't get too many critical hits on my engines. Seeker missiles as well. I can dodge these, I just gotta pay very close attention to them. If anything, since there's no fires defending them, I could just shoot them down. If I get enough time to do this. And sadly I don't have my falls maneuver to kind of dodge this properly. So maybe I did this a little bit wrong. Oh god. I got hit by the seeker missiles. Bombers are all gone there, but maybe not the convenience of getting hit by seeker missiles. How are we doing orc front? Five seconds to bombers. We're boosting. There, they're hitting. This looks like a good opportunity for torpedoes. And seeker missiles coming right at me. This is a little bit awkward. Did I get the torpedo hits? There's a good torpedo hit. I need something to conceal this damn thing though. Oh, it's just gonna burn to death. I'm not worried. I got Foy Predator, I got the Polarized Armor. I should be able to... Oh god, evasive maneuvers. Nope, I hope the Seeker Missiles didn't just hit me there. Nope, but I might be dead with the flagship right now. One final hurrah! Ow! That looked painful. I didn't fire torpedoes there because I was worried of friendly fire. Oh, you're going to hit yourself. I can't look. Well, that was an effective strafing run. Or strafing run. That was a worthwhile sacrifice. Not exactly how I would like to lose my flagship, but... It was effective. Now, I love this barrage just massacred this battleship right now. 
That is what I think I want to do. I walk the mariner's path. Although I have no disruption bombs available, so that's a little problematic. And I gotta be mindful, those mega cans are gonna hurt. Even with my 67 armor. Now I'm just gonna hold fire and just m make sure he doesn't see us coming. I'm gonna fire when I'm ready to fire the torpedoes. Oh, that may have been... Uh, the second salvo is gonna miss, isn't it? Yep, that's good hits. Deck's gone and all that. And it's, deck's permanently destroyed even, so I'll finish off the deck. Or at least try to force a mutiny on this thing. Yeah, temporary damage again on this thing. So I'm gonna try... Oh god, stay alive, stay alive! I'm not going to be able to stop those since they still have full morale, even if I were to destroy the flagship. How are we doing on points? We got three, three of them, so we're perfectly fine on points. So you're almost dead, and that fire's going to do a world of damage right now. Oh, I do, are both my torpedoes back up? No, they're not. I still have to get repairs. Nah. If only I had timed that better. I wasted my pulsar shot. Yes, flee! Flee for me! I still gotta wait 20 seconds for repairs, mind you, but flee for me. And the deck's permanently destroyed. That thing is out of the fight. Sadly, no morale damage until it's actually destroyed, though. So sorry. I don't think it's helping you with your current predicament, but... The battleship's out of the fight, at least. The the winds rise. Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna try and go after one with the damage deck, but I have to get behind them first. Torpedoes are back up. Well, oh yeah, I'm forgetting I'm flying into the detection range. Well, I don't think I want to lose this ship. So recklessly, especially since I'm pretty certain this is the one that lost half its health. Oh god, really? And that would be why. Lightning strike, that's a little bit annoying. And I can boost, I just don't have a falls maneuver available. Let these torpedoes hit and avoid any mega cannons. And I don't think it's gonna break in time, as far as morale. But I should be able to dodge this. Just barely. There you go. Now you're just gonna burn to death right now. Can I keep this one thing alive? This Wraith shift, can it live? Because it's threatening to get ganged up on. Come on, I believe in you. You have no deck, you have no brace for impact. But I believe you will live at least before this thing dies. Or You'll live long enough for this thing to die at least, especially with the mutiny. I think we got this now. Yeah. You're the one that has the last salvo of torpedoes, too. Get the shields down. We'll see if we could clean this up. I don't think I want to get too close. Actually, I want to get directly behind it. Ah, uh, wasted my pulsar shot. Wasn't paying attention to that. Yes, boost away for me. It makes it easy for me to stay stealthed. Thanks for helping me out. Now all that's left is to just whittle the thing down with pulsars. Oh, we could kill that, I suppose. It's still alive. It's extra points. It'll end the match immediately. I stand ready. We 
<laughs> there you go, you got the kill. I didn't steal from you. Well, that was a rough start for me, wasn't it? Half my health lost because I was just on the edge of a damn Nova Cannon. An Orc Nova Cannon, no less. It has like three different shots of evolved with it. Don't ask me how that worked. Since let me just double check. It says... Yeah. 100 damage from the center, 50 at the edge. So clearly, this is another case of another typo. Since that was clearly half my damn health. I'm not delusional, right? I was actually at the edge of it and not dead center of all three of them. I'm hoping. Maybe. Yeah, that was fun there. I think that'll be the last one there, but I hope you enjoyed those at least. And if anyone else wants to join me for some 2v2s, be sure to let me know. But right now, I want to focus on leveling up some fleets. Especially the ones that I already did multiplayer videos on, since sadly, I don't get to retain my level back from the pre or beta. But nids are out of the way, protectors... I might want to level up protectors a little bit since I'll be doing a video on them soon. Adeptus Mechanicus, I think I'll play Mechanicus some. And I should do a little bit of 1v1 as well, but... I do kind of want to just fool around and have some fun for a change. It feels like I've been fixing so much on either leveling up my fleets, or trying to seriously do 1v1 for the sake of the videos I've been doing, so a little bit of fun is warranted. So I would argue at least. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I might throw in one, a, a single 1v1 match. I just don't know what faction I would play as, if I were to be honest. Oh, the railgun hit me at the same time? That would explain it. That would definitely explain it. Since at the time I thought it was a Nova Cannon Holdus. Which is why I also wasn't consider... Well, let me rephrase that. It's also the reason why I didn't just boost on out, because I figured with only like 50 points of damage it wouldn't have been worth it. But if somehow a railgun hit me... The fighters were there, mind you. I was wondering if I was completely invisible or not. Well, that is not what you want to see when you're trying to do a 2v2. Just immediately the menu screen. Let's try this again, shall we? And again, my upgrades are limited, but do I care about doing extra damage to shields? Navigational shields would be useful if I can ever sit down on an asteroid belt for a little bit of cover. Since I don't know if it's still the case in Armada 2, but... In Armada 1, those asteroid belts used to give you like a an accuracy penalty for anyone who tried to shoot in them. I don't know if it's still the case now or not. Since the damage that it does is almost negligible, it's just the morale damage you need to be careful of. And that can easily be alleviated by a brace for impact. At least from what I can remember. <clears throat> but let's try this again without the menu screen, preferably. I would like that. Although white screen isn't much better, is it? <laughs> but that's just the loading. That's just the loading process. But those were fun. I always enjoy Eldar. Especially the torpedo builds. But I'm kind of a little bit biased since I think I was the only one in Armada 1. At least after the majority of the player base left the game, or at least multiplayer, I think I was the only one after that point that really played with torpedoes. Elder was all about the pulsars at long, as long a range as possible and the bombers, really. Lord Adorable. That clearly does not sound like a name for a space marine. It does sound like a name for an angry marine, though. But I don't know my fan lore on the angry marines, alas. I know nothing about them other than that they exist. And it's kind of awesome. Too if I almost want to say that the Games Workshop made them can. I don't think that's actually true though. I just know they exist. No. I guess my deployment is perfectly fine here. Sadly, not really any asteroid belts to make use of the navigational shield unless somehow I can get here. So that upgrade is going to be a little bit lackluster for this match, I think. Otherwise, Nova, you're going to go in the middle. Try and grab the point. And interestingly enough, the Mechanicus Novas don't get the additional armor. It's just the Space Marines that, 
as a means to buff them. Oh, I don't have a mission to spare either. So unless I'm willing to reveal myself, which I should be okay with. Space Marines and Drukari, which are over on the left here. Eh, I kind of want to use my Nova to spot the Drukari. I have the means to, but... We'll see how our Space Marine friend does. Since right now they also have only a single frigate, so we're limited on scanners to truly abuse detection. Oh, you were wondering about all chat? The, the weird thing is you have to hit left. You have to hit the left shift there. It doesn't work with the right shift at all. For some weird reason, anyway. I couldn't tell you why that is. Machine spirit appeased. Oh yeah. Oh, my space marine friend revealed. I was w wondering about that. So standard lance uh, strike cruiser. The if they're all lances. I don't care about them area. too terribly much. I have the hit point pull. And no torpedoes and bombers to worry about. To it's really the bombardment the cans if they're all lances. You have seized a strategic area. In all seriousness, though, I would like to try to de uh, detect the Jukari right now. I'm just not in a good position to do it. Ooh, I do have fighters, though. I kind of forgot about that. Alright. Oh. We're looking at potentially two vanguards, then. State your order. Calculating Alright, let me try and help you out there. Oh, and I had a beacon as well. Clearly not the most optimized type of use of my fleet, is it? I had means to detect Drukari after complaining about it all this time. Wow. That's gotta be the fastest mutiny I ever saw. And I'm thankful for it, but... I think it's more misplay of our Drukari friend. Okay, I'm gonna grab this point just at the last second. It's gonna be short lived, mind you, but goddammit, I'm gonna grab this point. Wow. Now, if only all your Drukari or all your matches against Drukari were this simple, huh? Space Marine just massacred them. And this is gonna hurt like hell. Hell. Let's add insult to injury. Add insult to injury to indeed. The They're blinded by the light. They're not going to see the AOE on the ground. Receiving the holy the light of the Omnisign is now just going to eradicate this entire fleet. On Jeez, that was brutal. This is a Lost very one sight match so far. Oh god, torpedoes. I'm gonna run into the bombers, but I goddamn, I at least dodged the boring Engaging torpedoes. Power to retro propulsion. Well, this will be over momentarily. Our friend's gonna commit kamikaze at this point. Machine spirit appeased. Now, just gotta wait for my own rad Rouse storm to kinda engines. dissipate. And we'll be golden. Could just strip kill him right away. It's looking like that's gonna be what happens here. Cause goddamn that was brutal. I was not expecting it to go that quick. Yeah, I don't know what happened with our Jukari friend. Probably got a little too fixated on grabbing the point, with a battleship no less. I could sort of see some of the logic there, since it has the most durability. You would think it'd be able to safely cap the point. But not when it's about to get bored and killed by troop damage. I don't think our... Drukari friend took that to account for all the well. And let's see, beacon in our 30 seconds. Hell, why wait? Why goddamn wait? Time for you to dance, buddy. Dance for me. Dance! Because if you don't, you're gonna die. Ooh, that Nova can's actually good. The supercharged serve. void shield's gonna be useful, but your vanguard, I think, you is pretty much dead. Oh, I'm gonna hit the other vanguards and add a bonus. Ooh! That is not what you want to have happen with your supercharged void shield, huh? That was the worst possible timing. Well, that's game. Nothing else to see here, folks. And where's my fan guard? Oh, just flying off into nowhere. 
which is fine. It can capture a point since we're done with it. That was a brutal stomp. It would almost be bad manner to just say good game here. Well. Space Marine just murdered Trukari and I just murdered the Space Marine. Not really much else to say, even though I did bad use of utilizing my fighters for vision and my beacon no less. So hopefully I can correct that some. Not a big issue, but good god is the firepower real if you can ever hit with those Novakans. Hell, I don't even have stasis bomb to truly like increase my chances on hitting with the Novakans. That's not until level 3. Which kind of stinks, but win or lose, I'm going to unlock that on my next match anyway. So I'm not too worried. But if anyone wants to do some 2v2s, let me know. I might do a few more matches on my own. If not, and then I still don't know what I want to try for a 1v1 match. Especially since most of the fleets don't have their skills in yet. Which would be my for fun fleet. If I were to be honest, it might be the merchant fleet. Since I have no real firepower, so it really ultimately comes down to how effective my enemy or my opponent is at dealing with fighter squadrons and the bombers. Since I can't really control them, aside for when would be the most opportune time. Oh god, I get Lord Adorable again. This is going to be fun. I don't think we're going to get the same result as last time though. Let's see how this turns out. <laughs> that was damn... That was really damn brutal, I gotta say. That poor Jukari. I almost feel sorry for him. Well, actually, that's... I do feel sorry for him. That's not the result you want anyway. Just in general. I want to at least show, at least be able to fight Trukari on a proper match and not them just getting murdered immediately. Otherwise, actually I want my Nova over here. And what if, Am I worried about light cruisers of any kind from the Azure Yanni or not? I don't know to be honest. I don't know what to seriously expect from them, but the Nova will be useful. Oh wow, this is a bit Engaging of a mess. Drive. Although to be fair, we are playing up against Town Merchant Fleet. Hostile signature so, detected. That's one thing I could get out of this, I suppose, is... My opponent did not sound wrong with any of these frigates. Detected. And there are a lot of orcas. Okay, dragon. That tells me a lot since I did a dra match with a dragon earlier. I know Receiving how expensive that order. is. Your order. Hmm. Do I want to do anything about these Receiving orcas? Actually, I could just launch bombers, try and do a little bit of damage. I'd kind of rather go after one that's isolate, though. Better chance of the bombers actually returning that way. The enemy has seized a strategic area. You have seized a strategic area. Machine spirit so that's probably what's going on there. Is we have two explorers, or maybe there's a bunch of light cruisers that have the grav hooks. To serve the the enemy has Either way, they should be easy area. kills, and they are definitely prime targets for my bombers. Lots of town, my lord. Yep. Time Hostile to exterminate. Although, where are these beacons coming from? Well, there's our Eldar friend. Oh, it's really tempting to just fire Novakan right now. I'm not in range. Because since he just falls, maneuvered, and boosts, this would be a good opportunity to at least do some damage. Probably not the smartest choice, to be honest. Oh, did I just hear a micro warp jump? Yep. Okay, it's good to know that. So focusing down the Phoenix is very dangerous just because it can immediately get out. 
And how are my bombers doing here? I think my bombers just got shot down midway. Since they are nowhere to be seen. Oh, they are gunboats, so that's where the gra- uh, Okay, never mind, it's a mix of the bunch. I just didn't know what would have what I was up against here. I got a Nova can something, but what am I trying to look for in all honesty? Since shields are up here, I can't do anything about that effectively. So I think I just kill off these wardens and wait for this phoenix. Wow. I think I kill this thing right now. A little overkill, considering it's already a drifting hook, but it is going to get a crew back up in a moment, maybe? Better safe than sorry, I think. Cripple this thing now. Since these things don't really have a lot of firepower, they just got a lot of bombers. So they're not really much of a threat if I can manage the bombers well. And I got Radstorm to finish off the deal. Finish off this one frigate. And then deal with this crippled one here. Actually, my bombers can do that. Who am I kidding? And then we could deal with our hero, which is the cruiser in front of us. Can I do a broadside on this thing? Since the crew is really bad, in all honesty. Alright, maybe firing Nova cans on that was a horrible idea. Unless that's what this thing's doing right now. I don't see... Okay, so... Let's, let me watch very carefully what that uh, ship's gonna do. I'm ready to bomb this thing again in a moment's notice. Oh, it's gonna explode. Get out. We are ready to serve. Next. Nope. Perfect opportunity. Drive. I wish there was a hotkey for Novacan, but... Not gonna be as much damage as before, but definitely gonna be painful. I think that thing just dies immediately, especially with three fire assaults. And I don't think we kill the crew because Mechanicus are really bad at boarding. No, we didn't. We only got like about half the crew gone. Well, that's still effective run though. Now let's go neutralize the point here. I don't need this frigate anymore. Oh, you're right in front of me. I don't like where you're at, so get the hell out of here. You are just a Ceno stain. For Omniscience will. Oh god, it's good. I guess he. I think he took offense to that. He's about to explode on me. We make it out though. Nobody panic. Can we do one more Nova Can shot for good measure? Uh, I'm too far away. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I'm not too far away. I'm just aiming with the wrong one. A celebratory Nova Cannon for our victory here. Just gotta make sure to brace for impact since this will still hurt. There we go, what's left? Orca, which is warping out. And probably the Eldar frigates, if I were to guess. Yeah, I'm thinking it's just Eldar frigates that are still gonna be a nuisance somewhere. Oh, never mind, they can see it. We're good. Or maybe. Oh, maybe they were already destroyed. It was just waiting for the ship to officially warp out, I guess. Since, after all, he could cancel it. No. I really enjoy Adeptus Mechanicus. If I were to be honest, I think they're my favorite faction. I haven't played with all of them enough to say that with certainty though, since I really do enjoy the Tyranids. Hell, with that said, I really want to play more of my Strangle... Was it Strangle Tentacles? What the heck are these things called? They just say Tentacles, I'm pretty certain they have something more to them. Yeah, that's very self-explanatory. But I really do enjoy that style, it just took me a lot of figuring out for that playstyle, but... Once I got the nuance on it and how to play passively and slow, it seems to be working well for me. But I have been experimenting a little bit with the Pyro Acid type of build too, just trying to get a feel for it, which I think I might do for this one. 
but I might as well rebuild my tentacle build for for the 2v2 as well. And maybe I'll actually do a 1v1 on the Tyranids. That's what I'll do. Let's not build a 2v2 fleet. I'll just play around with the Pyro Asset. And then I'll jump over to 1v1 and play some more with the tentacles. Just eat the crew and all that. I just can't remember what uh, skills I want. In all honesty. Drool Cannon for the fires. And... What do I have on here? I have a cruiser, so... Foy Lurker's not terrible for that. I just honestly can't remember what upgrades I want for here. I guess... Well, if I'm having frigates, definitely the chameleons. Chameleonic skin's good, and this is for the Pyro Asset. Okay, we're looking good. Let's see how well this goes for me. Like I said, I've really been enjoying the tentacles. It took a while to figure out. But now I'm ready to move on to the Pyro Asset. Outside of, like, using tentacles for fun and just to figure out a little bit more. S since I do wonder if there's any practicality to the Pyro Asset builds. Since if I remember correctly, Carriers was all the buzz for Tyranids. It's kind of why they had the 70% win rate, if I were to be honest, too. Strictly to Carrier builds. And hell, Tyranids might even get a slight buff, I think, in the update patch that they're going to be doing. Don't you be doing that cry now, I haven't even done the Predatory Instinct just yet, which is the stance that's supposed to make that sound. You're giving them information I don't wish to give, and I don't like it, you damn game. But we are fighting orcs, and if anything, orcs love their fire assaults. It makes it, it makes the ship turn red, remember? So it makes them go faster, so... It's, in all honesty, I'm just helping them when I light their ships on fire, right? Especially since, yeah, it's just orc pirates and not actually the... Uh, I can't remember what the... The, the Sun Clan... What is the Red Faction? I can't remember what the Dan Clan's called off the top of my head now. I had it at the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Nonetheless, they'll appreciate a little bit extra speed and mobility, right? No, oh, I didn't even say anything. I'm, I was wondering about that. Otherwise, Pyro Asset, grab points. Actually, reload on these guys first, and then I'll go over to Tracking Senses for my critical hit chance. The, ex the extra detection range is probably not very helpful, since I can only shoot 9,000 in range, after all. Oh, well, they're waiting on me. My bad. My bad, indeed. I just gotta make sure not to ram my own ally when I do this rush. Nice and silent. Ooh. Well, they got a lot of ships, and same as before, we know exactly what they have, and this one's the tractor cannon this time around. I had to kind of remind myself what factions we're up against. So I'm assuming these are all, almost all, the orc fleet. Which means that's a lot of frigates to worry about. Since it's kind of obvious to tell which is the chaos ship, she would think, since they would just move ahead some. I gotta just pay attention how how quickly these ships are going. Orcs almost all go the same speed outside their battleship. Which is not what we're dealing with. Oh. Did I mess up and not give you move orders? Silly me. I'm talking too much again, aren't I? It's a habit at this point. It's almost like I do commentary on YouTube or something. Well, I'll grab the point there in a moment. You have seized a strategic area. This is going to get dangerously close to detection. I wish I can switch over to tracking senses, but I think for survival's sake, I keep reload for the faster rushes. Since I want to keep these Krakens alive, I don't want to suicide them, ideally. Meanwhile, I got to remember to play slow and patient. I don't have the convenience the of getting out, even if my area. rush is basically another Wraith Bone shift. My regular mobility is not the best unless I'm using these Krakens. Which even then, I think some of the Eldar cruisers only go like 240, so I'm not that much slower than a Corsair or Eldar ship right now. So I could theoretically get away from the Orcs at least. Yeah, who am I kidding? Let's just reveal them. Oh, it is a Chaos Cruiser. What else do we have? You oh, you're a Hades. A strategic area. 
Okay, that's good to know. We got vision of everything. And I want these Krakens ready to kind of support. Since I don't know what exactly my Drakari friend's gonna actually do. So I don't want to get careless just yet. Since if I go in there and my Drakari friends commit to doing a hit and run style, I'm gonna be left on my own. Yeah, Lance just kind of gives that away. So there's no torpedoes to actually help burst down these ships, so I really need to play this slow and passive. I do have the extra points in the least, so that gives us a bit of a leeway. A strategic area. So I'm fine with it, and I can outrun the orc. I would love to detect these other Chaos ships, mind you. That's the one thing I would love to do right now. And since I'm hitting, I kind of can do it. Just gotta keep in mind what's likely to detect me, though. And always keep my cruisers nearby, at least Shukari in case, for when he's ready to commit. So, really? Are you just three Hades? Well, that's really unoriginal. You know what that tells me? My Krakens are so amazingly valuable because they have no scanners. The enemy I just gotta make sure I'm at a good enough camera. range, though. Hell, I'm kinda tempted to start firing at them to kinda distract them. I can really harass them well. I just got a lot of shields to get through, is the problem. Let's start scaring them a bit. The only things that are at risk of getting detected are really my cruisers, since I don't have, like, an easy way to conceal them again. And if I could start getting through the hole, that'd be pretty good too, but let's start eating the engines. Really? Sadly, I'm not going to get many more shots there, so maybe I could have done that rush a little bit better, but... You wasted charge on a plasma bomb. That's actually really useful. This is a good time to turn around and commit. I think, anyway. Oh, I forgot to give you a stance. That kind of stinks. Don't worry, you got pyro acid. You're good. I just gotta keep an eye on these other ships. Hell, I'm tempted to just grab this point from them once they fly far enough away. Now, I want to wait until this thing does a repair or something, at least, before I drool on it. Now, do, gotta keep in mind, gas cloud way back here, so actually that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start moving that thing to safety. And if I control on both these, that'd be the bonus. That'd be the dream. Just slobber all of them like an adorable puppy. Sadly, they're just gonna repair, aren't they? More than likely. But if forces a repair, they rather not. Okay. And I don't have a repair function on these Krakens. But, they can hide. I think the Kraken's dead just from the fire assaults, though. Yeah, let me just grab these points. Because why the hell not? They're accommodating me really nicely here. Come on, Kraken. I know you're regenerating 2 health, but you're burning at 8 health a second. Which doesn't bold well for you. They're chasing me down. They're really aggressive, but... I am going to be hitting. I can use Shroud to my best ability. I just got to remember to hold fire. Oh my god, the Kraken lives! Stimpy lives! Yes, I'm going to preemptively name him Stimpy for no reason. And all the while, we're getting amazing fire results. Hell, I may even just destroy his engines with these Krakens right now. This flagship, though, needs to stay alive. Otherwise, I'm going to have a lot of morale problems later on here. And so far, yeah, my opponent's not really doing a whole lot. Just trying to capture a point with only a single ship. Sadly, I'm only going to regenerate up to like 180 health, mind you, so... This Kraken has been pretty battered. But it survives. Its regeneration is going to kick in. And Drukari is just going to sit there and shoot all day, which is fine. I guess I serve as adequate bait. Yes, keep laying him on fire. I should deal with our Hades friend. 
Is there a way I could do that without actually getting detected, though? That's kind of what I would like to do. That probably works. I just gotta get in that proper spot first. No, you were not detecting my Krakens. It's not allowed. The enemy has seized a strategic as much enemy. as I've been neglecting them, I am not letting you get them for free. Yeah, and I'm just going to neutralize this point. I'm not really concerned right now. Oh, it's moving. Never mind, it's going to probably see my Kraken and probably kill it. It is macro cans though, so I do have a chance of surviving. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Stimpy still lives. Stimpy might survive this entire match. If this keeps up. Although, I'm ready to deal with our friend here. Fire everything. I- Oh, I ha I forgot I have my micro warp jump, don't I? You have accumulated 50% of strategic points. We'll just give him a hard- Ooh, this is also the flagship, so I'm happy to deal with this. I'm happy to melt you. Hell, I might even board you with that said. Gotta be ready. Keep in mind that I could just jump out in all seriousness, so I'm not worried. I just gotta remember I can warp out. Okay, so I can't... It's not a true micro-warp jump, then. It's not like the other ones, at least. Okay. I learned something new here. But I got out before it got too ugly, at least. And that thing should burn to death. Oh, you canceled up my rush, you dick. It's Well, that's at least something important to know for when I play orcs, at least. Completely negate a Wraith Bone shift that way. If you could time it properly. But aside for getting rammed to death by this thing, I'm in good shape. Oh no, Stimpy's about to die! I let one Kraken die, I'm not letting Stimpy die. Just hide, Stimpy, hide! Burn retros, or whatever you call for stopping. Clearly it's burn retros. And I have one more slobbering tool left to do. So I'm gonna take it out on maybe this Chaos flagship. Nope, they're kinda hitting me hard though. Although most of the ships are gone, yeah, your deck's gone, so I don't think I have to worry about you. Alright, I guess the Chaos ship's gonna be on hold. Let's drool on something else. Ooh, I could blink again. That is a fast cooldown, but did you really have to destroy my prow, you dick? How does it feel? How does it feel to get drooled on? Although, maybe I could have had my facing a little bit better for the sake of boarding. You have seen Since our Drukari friend could have again. potentially finished them off really well. Uh, I'm not going to be able to... Ooh, I'm going to have my shields up at least, so that helps. Stimpy, are you alive? Stimpy's still alive. I believe in you, Stimpy. I just don't know what you could do for the rest of this fight, though, besides just do occasional damage. My flagship's about to die too, but... Ooh, can I get behind the structure, maybe? If I could get behind the structure, maybe my morale won't be an issue. At least for a little bit longer. Since I think we still got this. Just gotta the let the shields recharge. Are you in range? You are now in range. Against the mutinying uh, Chaos Cruiser. And we have three points. We're in really damn good shape right now. And shields are about to come back up. Just a little bit longer, yes. Structure's doing its thing. This flagship took the beating it needed to. I couldn't ask for better results from this thing. Especially if it could survive the rest of the battle. But the real hero has to be Stimpy. Although, there is potential I may be condemning Stimpy to death here if I fly forward anymore. Yeah, I think we're good. What's left? Just one orc cruiser with no population or no crew left on it. And I think just that one last chaos cruiser? Alright. Let's go full reload and chase after him. Stimpy will lead the charge. Although, really I should have just had Stimpy stay there and grab the point.
Uh, what, what are we asking about? What is that range? I don't know what you're referring to. I'm assuming you're referring to detection range of my dang, uh... Krakens and, uh, instinct, mind you. I'm assuming that's what it was. Yeah, the tracking senses increases detection range, but I don't... It doesn't quite enhance the range of my weapons, so that's the trade-off. So I'd argue detection range may not be very useful. At least for the Krakens. For, like, the hive ship and maybe... I can't quite remember. Sadly, none of the battle cruisers actually have pyracid on the prow. But do they have some on the side? No, that's bioplasma. Where is it? No, only 9,000 in range, so really, the extra detection range is kind of pointless almost. Since really, only the. Yeesh, even you have a short range. Where's the one with the prow pyro asset? There it is, there it is. Yeah, this is the only one that actually can make use of that additional detection range. Outside of the fact, uh, was it the range increase, which I could have gotten as well. Alright, let's play one little match of 1v1. Mix it up a bit. I just gotta remember what my build was, mind you. So, Battle Cruiser, Synaptic Relay, Chameleonic Skin, Spore Field for the, the Stealth, and Psychic Scream for when the morale starts ebbing. So that way more of their crew can die, potentially. If they lose it, if they can't uh, cancel the mutiny, that would be even better, but I'm just here to fool around. I really enjoy this build, so I'll try and put a solid effort in, though, nonetheless. But what are we up against for first off? Oh, Chaos. They're nice and tasty, even if they're just, most of them are just shells and suits of armor. question is, how close can I get? Since they... Let's, the frigates only have four crew per stage. So three Krakens can eat them. If I... If they're willing to stay close enough to me. So let me remember. Where's my vanguards? Got one vanguard here. Good. One vanguard here. Okay. It's already pre-assembled for me. Otherwise, what are, what are we doing for deployment? This looks pretty self-explanatory. I want the three Krakens to basically bully out any frigates that I might encounter. I don't think I should expect some cruisers. And conveniently, maybe I could push through here to the middle. Unlikely. I, I don't really have much brute force. Considering I have almost no literal weaponry on this fleet. I just got crew to eat. Is really all I can do. And I gotta remember my spore field. I gotta start preemptively placing them. Get these moving. Now where do I want to put my spore field? That would be... Well I got gas clouds here so... Let's put it somewhere where, at least it looks like I'm trying to harass them, as opposed to... Eh. Well, so emission dissipator, that's a giveaway. And these are probably the cruisers here, maybe. I gotta be ready to support them. So I think that's what my frigate's here are for. And if Chaos has a lot of lances, I'm in a lot of trouble. Potentially a lot of trouble, anyway. I just don't know what to expect just yet. The enemy has seized Since I'm not seeing Silent running, interesting enough that these are frigates. You think there would be some Silent Runs, which is probably over here. I don't want to get too aggressive, that's the main thing to remember. As much as I've been fooling around in 2v2, area. if you I want to try and seriously win this, I need to area. play cautious. Because remember... I'm about to have all three points, or at least I'm about to have three points, so I'm in good shape right now. You have seized a strategic area. We're about to grab this, and they could just backdoor, basically. All right. 
I do have a gas cloud in Lisa, so I'm not too worried just yet. Actually, I do have fighters, but that doesn't help me a whole lot, does it? And with the Keon Chameleonic skin, I could just hide in plain sight, basically, too. Oh, I never did give you reload either, so that's a bit of a pain. Alright. Just let me eat you. Can I rush in there and eat? Get a board in? Ah, uh, not quite. I would have liked to a board. Hell, I could still do that. This is not as aggressive as a... This is probably a little too aggressive. Huh, interesting. I didn't realize that was instant. The ability to just lock down all my ships. Interesting, Slanesh. All right. Can I, I can't rush anymore there, sadly. And my frigates, ah, they're burn retros, so that's the problem I'm having here, alas. Everything is salt running, but I did eat a lot of the crew so far. Yeesh, the frame rate's suffering hard. What the hell is going on, I wonder? Yes, focus down on this thing. The enemy has accumulated Although I did already lose one of my cruisers in, I. Yeah, this is not going well. I just was not expecting the fact that you could just immediately stun my ships down. This is my first time actually dealing with the Slanesh favor. What's left on here? Yeah, this is about to die in a moment. So this is not gonna... This is pretty much over at this point. My morale is gonna break really quickly. I'm not meant to fight in a close aggressive type of battle. Oh well, let's tr since that was a quick one, let's try for an arm match. So that's what it does. Instant uh, stun or negate of my abilities, I suppose. I thought it was like a traveling effect. I'm assuming that's what the upgrade was, at least. Let's see. Yeah, corruption below that can be directed in any direction, so it cancels out my strangle tentacle as well, which can be a bit annoying. Let's give it another try, though. Ideally, I don't want to get in really fast engagements. I kind of want to chip them down. Let's see what we get this time. Don't leave in suspense. Load. Load. Oh, chaos again, but a different chaos. At least this time we don't have to worry about Slanesh, I suppose. But it was a lot of lances, which, interestingly, killed my ships down really damn quickly for battle cruisers. Normally, lances are kind of the more slower type of meat. Oh, they could have been slaughters, maybe. I never did check what kind of ships they were. That could have been what happened there. Lots of close-range fire potential. Let's give it an Argoto. Need to at least give this fleet a little bit of justice, right? And hang back my cruisers a little bit more, too, might be useful. If they get immediately detected, it doesn't help them. It doesn't help a whole lot. And no, you can stop. You can stop your dang roaring. Where do I want to put the cruisers? Just where I think they're going to try and cap in the middle of the map. So this looks a little bit promising. A little bit better at least. 
Just gotta remember to keep the cruisers back. Especially if it's macro cans, my Krakens could take those hits hits really damn well. Otherwise, can't really tell anything just yet here. Looks like there's one or two ships high in the gas cloud. Which maybe means there are five Grand Cruisers. If there's five of them all going the same speed anyway. I really do need to start paying attention to how quickly they pass through this hex here. Oh. Alright, well that's a tell. To an extent. I'm just going to try and intercept. Maybe I should have just... Uh, Launch them a little bit first, since I don't know if they're going to actually intercept or not. You have seized a strategic Just don't ram yourself, please. I don't like this grouped up formation you're trying to have here. But if I could deal with those fires really well, then I don't have to worry about them for later, maybe. And I can easily conceal myself. Remember, I have the Chameleonic skin. So even if I'm detected, it's just a bunch of frigates, which are probably not very concerning for my enemy. And there definitely is something silent running there, so that much is certain. And you can go on up there and... See if you can spot something that maybe comes to detect. Alright, so fighters are going to fight each other. I'll kill off their squadron. And yeah, you see see a bunch of frigates that don't help you too much just yet. You have seized a strategic area. Okay, launch your bombers. Let's just hide them. Well, give us a free kill here. Gotta make sure you keep looking at it though. That's the only catch I need for killing these frigate off. So long as... I am stealth right. These things should be hidden. Okay. That was just weird experience, that's all. That was just weird, watching the bomber still coming towards me even after I hit in my fleet. Hopefully this doesn't hurt me too much. Ow, that was p more painful than I realized. That was a frigate, no less, but the Krakens can regenerate their health easily enough. Oh, you're marked. Is that what's happening? Okay, you're stealth. Never mind. Actually... Let's see if we can stealth them. Perfect. I may not be able to grab the objective the best, but... So long as I can stay hidden, it'll leave my opponent guessing. I have three points, so they have to do something. I just gotta do a better job of watching the objective. Or at least watching the main map, rather. I don't need to do crap right now. And right now those bombers are going out the middle of nowhere. Actually... I really want to intercept them. Killing off the bombers is going to be a big deal, considering it's all coming from the single battleship after all. Actually, let's get some tracking senses here to try and detect them too. This will work out well, just snipe the point from behind them. This feels a little bit better, my opponent's playing more cautious though. Probably because they're not so aggressive a build. Health's regenerating nicely here. I just gotta get this fleet going. At least the back door. I need to open up a window to maybe kill off some of the crew. Okay, so what's happening here? I see like two squadrons of bombers for crying out loud. I just don't know what's happening here. And potentially a third squadron as well. Good god. I didn't realize that the spoiler can launch that many bombers at once. Clearly there are mechanics at play that I'm not aware of. 
I'm a you have seized a oh, the bombers area. were probably going after the Krakens, and then when they stealthed, they turned around. You have accumulated 25% of strategic points. Now eat the crew. Eat the damn crew. This might not be as effective, alas, but... But I did get some... I did get to sample my appetite, or sample the food a little bit at least, so I'm okay with that. I just don't want to rush in there too recklessly. But apparently my opponent's committed to just dashing in there. No, run! Flee! Get to safety! I don't want you to die. Uh, I think they're... I think I left them for death there. Up, oh, all of them are on cooldown, okay. Just get in there, sample a little bit more. The macro cans I could deal with really well. Hell, I could just hide again. Who am I kidding? If you don't have frigates to kind of spot them, I'm in good shape here. Well, this is convenient. Yes, get closer. Get closer and get eaten. Well, there goes half the crew from basically two Krakens. That's a good start. One more is available and they got the armor. Ooh! More! More eating! I don't think my opponent knows what to do here. There's a lack of control at work here. One Drifting Hulk. Potentially two Drifting Hulks. I think I accidentally deactivate some of their... You can't rush, damn it, so you're pretty much dead. And I have shields, so I'm just gonna eat your... Ooh! Well, at least we know what the capital ship is. Oh, there was two despoilers, okay. And I still have shields, so that's a lot of point defense for me. Just try not to ram them. That's the big catch right now. Since I can't really do a whole lot more here, besides for maybe get... Well, wait for the cooldown. Since right now I'm waiting 15 seconds for that. And I got all the points, so... I don't think the strategy is what won me this match here. If... Because I probably would have won with all five points regardless of what fleet I was fielding. This is going to suck. I'm not going to boost out of this. Oh, actually I might. I rammed myself, but I did make it out of the explosion at least. The, the reason that went badly is because, remember, one of them does not have reload anymore, so there was an awkward timing window where I tried rushing and the one that had the lock on wasn't actually able to rush out of the way yet. Can I board? Yes, I can board. Eat it. Actually, I could... Uh, I'm not in range to pull closer. And that is almost gone. Sadly, it looks like I lost two of my frigates there. But you know what? I got more frigates for that. Finish off this carnage, is it? Yes, murder it. Victory is at hand. It's gonna be be a complete and utter domination. Disrupt my shields all you want. It doesn't help if you have no bombers to so take advantage of it. I just wish also there were hotkeys for my tentacles as well for easy access since you can see down below the hotkeys for them but there's no actual hotkeys for my feet or tentacles. You are close to victory by strategic Okay, that was fun. It just goes to show my fleet's not very good against someone who's very aggressive, mind you. Since it does take a little bit of time to eat away at their crew. So, but like I said, there's a little bit of lear more learning that needs to be done with this fleet. Otherwise, I might do one or two more uh, matches. What fleet would I like to try out or level up some more? Drukari already leveled up and, of course, Eldar have like a bad taste in their mouth for everyone anyway. 
Ooh, Merchant Fleet. I don't know how exciting this would be as far as streaming, mind you, since... In truth, all I'm really doing is launching missiles and launching bombers. Is that really all that exciting? There's only one way to really find out, is there? And these upgrades are horrible. None of them really help me for a fighter-centric type of play either. In all honesty, I might have better luck playing the Protector Fleet. I do want to try playing with more of the Merchant Fleet though, especially since I need to level them up anyway. It's like I said, there's not much uh, options here for me that are actually practical. Now, were any of these upgrades even useful for a fighter squadron? I don't think there was. Otherwise, target coordinator is the only thing I could think of. Just increase my accuracy with the little bit of weaponry I do have. Eh, I might just do the one match. If nothing else. It's a different play style, if nothing else. And it's not as ridiculous as, say, the Tyranid carrier fleet, since I have almost like no weaponry or boarding potential. I'm relying almost exclusively on bombers and seeker missiles. Which I don't even have any seeker missiles with the, my two battleships, so... And we're not going to see a lot of burst damage there. Yeah, there's... it's really weird with the explorers, isn't it? They're literally the only ship that actually shoots missiles that are not from the prow. Imperial Navy, Orcs, Eldar, everything basically shoots from the prow, and it's much more convenient that way, but the Explorer, for some reason, shoots sideways, and that makes it a little bit awkward. Even more so if, if you, you, since you can't really shoot them from the broadside all, because that just means you have four missiles not even going towards the enemy fleet, and four missiles that are going straight at them. You really have to be facing them or running away from them for the secret missiles to even work. I do need to play with the other version, the Protector. I just like the potential of the ones with that are all carriers, since that normally means I have more longevity for these ships. Since once I spend my Seeker missiles or my bombers get destroyed, these are basically just floating paperweights. God knows how many millions of tons of paperweight it is, but it's a paperweight nonetheless. It, but it does add some interesting convenience in the Orcas. They're mostly for detection, mind you. Their firepower isn't all that exceptional, but they're there nonetheless. They could contribute. I just gotta remember I have the targeting coordinator for the four railguns I have that shoot... Well, six railguns that shoot from the prow, and even then, look at the range on these damn things. Well, the double bear ones are a little bit better, but these single railguns are kind of not gonna get a lot of use, are they? And with that said, where do I want to deploy? I might as well grab this point. I'm slow as molasses anyway. It makes it a little more convenient for my frigates, hell. If I had a mission dissipator, these frigates actually be useful for getting to the middle of the map. Because these things are just as slow as my damn... Well, they're not as slow as the explorers, but they're still slow. They're as slow as you expect Tau frigates to be. Oops, I accidentally oh, braced for impact too. I rushed that a tiny bit. And reload doesn't even work with bombers, I gotta remember that. So what stance do I even want with my... Pro probably lock on for the extra range if I were to be serious. The only thing I could think of. Otherwise... What are we even fighting against? Drakari and Chaos. So Drakari are gonna suck for me here. I do have a beacon to help some. And this does 300 damage, so what happened earlier with my uh, Wraith ship is the combination of the Novacan and that. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense now. I just never saw the railgun when it did hit me. Otherwise, I would have liked some running on these things. These things are easy picking for a Chukari. But the beacon's kind of giving me that vision anyway, so I'm not too worried just yet. You have seized a strategic area. And no point in launching Those fighters now, the gas cloud's gonna interrupt that. Target. At your orders, Colonel. You have seized a strategic area. No way. The I could launch bombers, but I don't area. 
Yeah, the bombers. I should launch bombers, but let me launch some fighters for protection. I hope that was... Okay, I did launch bombers and I did launch fighters. I'm a little bit worried. Okay, fighters are a little bit faster. I'm okay. I was a little bit worried maybe the fighters, the bombers would get there first. I am stuck though, so that's inconvenient. That can easily be alleviated though. And we do have the Jukari ship that's trying to shoot me too. Let's get these battleships to safety. And this will just be a nice little beacon hell. I could just grab this point with it. I got nothing to hide. It even gives away I'm trying to cap it when I fly there anyway. Stealth or not. Gonna have to pr play really slow here. Ooh, three grand cruisers. So I need to be... I definitely need to be his vision, don't I? If he's gonna get use out of those macro cans, are these Avengers? Yeah, they're Avengers. Also need to kind of get out of the way. Oh, what are my fighters and bombers doing? Okay, it did hide. I'm just wondering where the hell my fighters went. Shoot down the fighters for me. That'll pay off long term. I'm not close enough anymore. Drones have identified an enemy target. As much as I have vision, I gotta wait. Well, there's a beacon there too, so I'm not too worried. Actually, speaking of which, 20 seconds till my beacon. Oh, that's convenient. There's a Chaos Cruiser just sitting right here. Slaughter. Murder it. Because I'm not going to be able to contribute a whole lot, but at least we killed off the one fighter squadron, did we? Damn, jeez. There's a lot of detection over here, needless to say. There's like my beacon, there's the other beacon, the Drukari beacon. We're definitely able to know what's over capping that point right now. Both sides are certain of it. And there's no point scanner just yet, is there? I'm about to... Oh, I'm getting re the reveal. That's what's going on. Targeting sensors on. Fine, having a heart. Ooh, engines are gone, but. Okay, I marked it. So bombers might. Ah, damn it. That was my own fault. Laying the plasma bomb kill those orcas. But it is detected, so. Hopefully, I can keep vision of this thing. If I can keep this detected, the bombers can at least do damage to it. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot, safe to say. It, this, my fleet's going to be more powerful later on if the Avengers can actually do damage needed. And I wonder if the... actually... I'm curious if the lock-on affects my ally as well, with the exceptional aim. That would actually be pretty useful for him. Uh, it says Tau, friend. It says it affects only Tau ships, but I've been lied to before. Mainly Necron abilities. They sometimes seem to affect or not affect the enemy factions. Or even allies. Come on, do the damage. And there might, they might make it back. Actually, I have Experimental Railgun. This is a perfect shot. That is a bad shot, though. Really? I didn't hit either of them. Oh, uh, well. That's a shame. The bombers are going to likely survive, but let's get some protection for them. Just for assurance. And if my orca is actually giving better accuracy to the Avengers, then this orca is worth its weight in gold right now, if that's actually true. But, ooh. Well, that's convenient. I wonder, was that my beacon actually stuck on them, or was that the, the Imperial Navy that stuck them? Either way, we got permanent vision for the next two minutes to shoot them. So it's going to be a perfect opportunity to do some damage. We got Jukari Fessel on the left. Can I reveal that? Yes, I can. He is mine. Forever. 
didn't need to do the scanner pulse, I guess, but we're doing good right now. Actually, let me lock on and have you follow our Avenger friend. Just in case you're given extra accuracy. Because right now that'd be pretty damn helpful. Ooh. I see a perfect opportunity for more bombing. Okay, take that back. I may actually be useful this time around. Although, looks like one Avenger might get destroyed pretty soon. So we'll see if I can help somehow. At least get detection here on this cruiser. Yeah, that's a good hit there. I can destroy this now with a railgun. Give me a good shot. There we go. The stag must die. It is my ancient... Is my one weakness because it can murder my damage potential. Actually, this light cruiser is at risk of dying too. And I have only two frigates left, so let's keep them alive. They are so damn important against Trukari. And really good against this chaos ship too, which has right now lost its deck. So you were all but dead. And Salt Run, let's keep, again, frigates are the way we're gonna win against Trukari at least, so I need them to live. As much as I like giving my ally extra aim, I have no idea if that's actually working or not. Can you at least kill a Stig? You have a lot of health on you still in this chaos, actually I should just boost forward and get ready to deal with our Trukari friend. Oh, and there's a Chaos speaking here too that's kind of giving away my position, so I gotta, gotta keep that in mind. I can shoot that thing at least, but if I can't get Fission, that Avenger is doing nothing. There. I have one more railgun shot. I want to shoot this cruiser if I were to be honest. Oh, actually, I take that back. I can get a devil hit. Devil hit. Perfect. It's not enough to kill the Stig, but that was definitely worth it. Actually, focus this thing down. One hit's all you need to kill it. Okay, take that back. Like, five or six hits are needed to kill it. You have accumulated 50% of strategic points. It may have been a mistake to launch these bombers. Yeah, they immediately got cancelled. But we're in good shape now. Just gotta keep marking it. If possible, get some exceptional vision or exceptional accuracy with my lock-on and the coordinator. And we should be good. Oh, a mutiny, even better. I will happily accept your mutiny. Because it means extra coup damage. Nope, stop burning retros. I don't want you burning retros. And what did you do? Oh, you recharged your shadow field, didn't you? 20 seconds till I can spot it again. Drones have identified an enemy target. Which is fine. I don't think this thing could do anything anymore. Especially since I have fission now of your cruiser. I have plenty of health. I can weather the shots quickly. You better run that thing away or you're just gonna get nuked by a bunch of bombers. I am warning you right now. As much as I like to go after the battleship, you are a much more easier kill right now. I just want to cancel that. Ooh, this might pay off nicely. Take your bets now. Is he gonna panic? Is he gonna turn around? These Bantha Bombers now have vision. There's no way he can hide. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. The enemy is seizing one of yes. Strategic areas. You screwed up, buddy. Now... For some weird reason, you're letting a merchant fleet get in point-blank range with you. You must feel silly right now. Because now I can launch a bunch of bombers on your ass. Nope, this is over. He's conceded to his demise. Well... I was a little bit worried of not contributing, but since I was basically untouched that entire time, I could literally just charge in there and take all that Trukari abuse. 
especially since he was convenient. He was kind enough to let me just bomb his cruiser to death. But otherwise, it's getting late here. I'm going to be having food very shortly anyway, or grabbing food. But I thank everyone for tuning in. That was a good time. I'm thankful to actually get some streaming in, and I'm hopeful maybe I can get some more in, or some more on the weekends. That's what I would like to do. At least uh, in between when I'm doing my actual multiplayer, at least. But I thank every one of you for... Tune in, watch the stream, hopefully it was a good time for you. Since I need to actually spend a lot of time trying to level up all these fleets, especially like Necro and all of them, which had all their levels reset on me. But have a good, what is it, have a good afternoon, have a good night, have a good morning, I suppose, for anyone in Australia and Asia, I suppose, maybe. I need to check my time zones. But anyway, have a good day.